he had not seen Christ. He probably had not seen Matthew and Luke or John. But he had read their material. He had researched his material. And those who drew up the narratives had a source of knowledge, those who handed down the data. And so here, Luke writes both in written and oral sources, and Luke had assessed both kinds, and he had gathered the data. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, didn't God give it to him? You know, God allowed the writers, and Luke kept a notebook. He kept probably a journal. And I wouldn't, I don't know if the Peter, I don't know if Peter could even write. He was a fisherman. If you ever wonder what, how he kept all that in his mind? Apparently Luke kept a, what we call a diary. And he researched. And like I do, I researched this sermon, and I came up with over 200, almost 100, 100 pages of resource material, and I've got to, I've got to condense it down to a 45-minute sermon. And so that's probably Luke had a, a manual of this thick of resources, and God says we're going to have to condense that. If everything I did was written down, the volumes couldn't contain it. So Luke, you're going to have to condense this down to 24 chapters. And, and you're going to have to say some things that is going to be pertinent, and you're going to have to throw in doctrine that's going to help people understand why I came in the first place. And so he delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were. Who is better than the which for this particular thought here? For the word of us witnesses from the beginning. Notice, which from the beginning were, it's the, the official beginning. In other words, he's going to start from the commencement of Jesus' ministry. He's going to tell you how the ministry started. Our witness, it means someone with sin with their own eyes. And then he goes and he, said, he says, I'm going to minister the ministers of the word. Those undertores, those servants. And here the word means the gospel message. He, they, the, the writers ministered, ministered the word, meaning the gospel ministry. And he said that he will do that. From the beginning, none, none of the, the gospels are biographies, strictly speaking. But as I said, they're rather selective sketches of the life of Christ. A biography of Christ. It leaves out a lot and it says a lot, but it says those things. Even be. Verse 3, it seems good to me also. That's the important part. It seems good to me also. That though much has been said, because maybe I have a fuller knowledge and a wider scope, Having, a, having had perfect understanding of all things, having traced the course of all things. In other words, not the word perfect should be traced. In other words, he didn't have what we understand, having perfect knowledge. But he was able to trace the life of Christ as accurate as possible. In the book of Acts, there was a man who was a lost person. And he decided that I'm going to trace the life of the Apostle Paul. And if I can find one mistake in the book of Acts, then I know that the book of Acts is false. So what he did, he started in the book of Acts, and he was going to trace all of the missionary journeys that the Apostle Paul had. And so he documented, he literally went back to those places that Paul traveled, and he was going to trace as closely as he can the, 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 everything that Acts says and when it ended up he became a Christian because he found that everything was accurate and so Paul, Luke says I'm going to tra I've traced the life of Christ through Matthew and Luke Matthew and Mark and, and John 
And I've, I've, I've researched other sources from other manuals and books, and I believe I have a good knowledge of what exactly happened in a more fuller detail, and that's why he wrote the book of I, wrote the book of of, of uh, Luke and Acts. Notice he said that I'm going to write to you, most excellent. And he says, I'm writing to you in order that, verse 4, that thou mayest know, have a full knowledge in addition to what you already know. The certainty. The certainty. He says, I want to make sure that your faith that you have, that you've embraced, is in impeccable historical foundation. I want you to know that when I finish writing this book, it's going to be so clear and so historically correct that you can rest assured with 100% accuracy that what you believe is indeed the ministry in the life of Jesus Christ. Wherein thou has been instructed the sound of words. And so he says, I'm going to give you what I believe is a true and an accurate understanding of the life of Christ and what he taught and the purpose that he came and what actually took place when he came. And so I believe the first four chapters is to reassure us that what we are about to hear in the next 24 chapters, we can rest assured that that's exactly what happened in the life of Jesus Christ and the ministry. We can be sure that when we read this Bible, the book that we hold in our hands is indeed what really happened because I believe that that's what Christ did in His life. Heavenly Father, we thank You for just the beginning of this study of Luke. And we pray that you'll direct our hearts and lives, John, if you'll come. And we pray that you will give us wisdom, and Frankie. And we pray that you will share with us that which is a blessing to us. And may we get into this book and really see all the things you have for us. And we'll be careful to give you the praise. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.